Do you ever feel like it's getting harder to sing to the end of a phrase or perhaps your high notes run out of air too quickly? If you're over 50, you might think, well, this is aging. There's not much I can do about it. However, new research shows a simple five-minute breathing warm-up can instantly help you sing longer, stronger, and with less effort. And I'm going to show you exactly how. I have spent decades helping singers, especially mature singers, keep their voices healthy, strong, and expressive. In fact, I wrote the Mature Singers Guidebook, and you can grab a free copy at the link below, an absolutely free download. All right, today I want to share this fascinating new study where professional opera singers dramatically improved their singing just by warming up their breathing muscles. And I'm also going to show you how I use a device called the Breather Voice for this. And it's now a part of my daily routine. As we get older, our muscles weaken. And that includes the muscles for breathing. This means that phrases, how long we can sing, shorter. High notes feel harder. And fatigue can set in faster. Now, many singers just think, well, it's the voice aging, but a lot of it comes down to breath control. Now, in this study, singers did a short warm-up on breathing in. Usually, when we work singing, we work breathing out, Tss, controlling that flow. This study did the opposite. Basically, they were breathing in against resistance before they sang. They did two sets of 30 breaths. That's it. And they only did it once before they tested. They had two groups, the group that did this warm-up and the group that did not do the breathing warm-up and then measured the results. The group that didn't do the warm-up, there was no change in their singing. But the group that warmed up the breathing in against resistance, their phonation time, how long they can hold a note, went up dramatically. Their high notes, 35% longer. Low notes, 29% longer. And, and this is really surprising, they reported feeling 12% less effort. Singing literally felt easier. Here's why this works. If you take in a breath and just let it go, there's no control. The air just rushes out. We need resistance to control the outflow of air. So your muscles of inspiration do this in singing. They act like brakes. These muscles control the air so it doesn't just dump out all at once. But if these muscles are weak, not just physically weak, but also if we have a weak mind connection to these muscles, we lose control and the voice suffers. When these muscles are strong and primed, you have smoother airflow, a steadier tone, more confidence because you're also priming the brain. As you work this, you increase the coordination the mental connection, it all gets stronger. You gain more control and singing feels easier. So here's what they did. They had the people in the group that worked their voice use resistance. Now I use something called the breather voice and I'll put a link to it below. And what this does, you can see there are dials on either side. These dials control resistance for inhale and exhale. Now, those in the study only did it on the inhale. Start with that, but I'm incorporating both now. So with the breather voice, they put it at 40% resistance, about 40% about of what you think the maximum amount of resistance you could stand would be. And now... Just breathe in. 
I feel myself 360 degrees. I really pay attention to the muscles of breathing. I feel my belly begin to push out as my diaphragm drops. I feel my chest expand as my rib cage opens up. And you're going to do that. You can just let the breath go. You're going to do that 30 times. Take a short break. Do it 30 times again. This is if you want to do what they did in the study. I think you can make this shorter on a daily basis. I don't quite do 60 breaths, but do that and see what changes in your singing. Now, with the breather voice, I also do the exhale. And I keep that feeling of expansion, right? Singing is about expansion, not contraction. The body will want to contract. The body will want to help too much. But I keep that feeling of expansion on the exhale. Now, if you don't have a device like the breather voice, it's okay. You can use your lips. Make your lips very small, like it's a thin straw, and breathe in through that. You can feel those muscles engage. And then the same for the exhale. Or I like to use a hiss. Keep that feeling of expansion. Don't let it collapse. This is the secret to support for singing. As you work these muscles of inhalation, you're working the support muscles, the muscles that are going to act as the brakes for your voice so we don't overwhelm the voice with too much air. So here's my challenge to you. Before your next practice, do this for two minutes and then sing a song you usually have a bit of a struggle with and notice if there's a difference. And please let me know if this works for you in the comments. And if you'd like more proven strategies to keep your voice strong as you age, grab your free copy of the Mature Singer's Guidebook. Again, the link is below. So subscribe, like the video, and we'll talk soon. Take care.